Welcome back to Antigua, Guatemala. We're Eric and Sarah, and today we are going to be trying some Guatemalan food. So without further ado, let's eat. <laughs> Good morning. If you've watched any of our other food videos, you know that we like to do a full day of eating. So today we're actually getting our breakfast from the hostel. It's a typical breakfast here in Guatemala. And Sarah, I think, already has it ready to go. Woohoo! Let's eat. No morning feels quite right without coffee to start it off. And then we have our typical breakfast. So we have some fried plantains here. We have some beans eggs we got um just scrambled eggs and then we have like a ranchero sauce some sort of tomato slightly spicy sauce and the best core the best part of course we have tortillas <laughs> i love this breakfast i could eat this every day for my whole life i think the tortillas is gonna be a common theme for today <laughs> yeah i feel like we're gonna be eating a lot of tortillas in this video <laughs> not not mad about it so I think the proper way to eat this meal, especially with tortillas, is to rip your tortilla into a bunch of bits and then use it kind of like a scooper to eat. But we always go taco style because I like to have a little bit of everything on my tortilla. This is going well so far. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 for presentation, that's for sure. Let's put some beans on there. Yum, yum, yum. I love me some beans. Eat it like a delicious taco. Mm. Just so yummy. So hearty. I love it. So in addition to your eggs and beans, you get some plantains as well. And basically what plantains are is it's kind of like a banana, like kind of like a, a larger banana, uh, except quite a bit sweeter. We've, we've had plantains like all over Central and, and South America as well. But um, we actually, the ones here in Guatemala so far, at least here at this hostel, they're so good. They're really delicious. Sometimes they're almost too sweet, but uh, yeah. These are probably your favorite ever. Definitely. Cheers. <laughs> now being sent to the Mercado, or just the market, to find some snacks of sorts there. I don't know. We're gonna see what kind of street meat we can find. <laughs> Markets are so awesome because they literally have like everything that you would need. We don't really have markets like this back home in North America because you just have like one big store that you would go to. But here, it's like every item has its own kind of like store, which is kind of sweet. You have all your shoes, you have your candles, know, candles. veggies. But man, this place is such a maze. It just keeps winding like all over the place. This place is huge. We're trying to find some food. <laughs> no luck yet. <laughs> All right, I think we found the food court, but it's pretty loud in here, so we'll see if we can find what we're looking for. Oh, wow. Well, that was super interesting and it was uh, really fun to be in there, but we weren't exactly looking for like lunch right now. We're looking for just a, a bit of a snack. Maybe we'll go back there later because it was really sweet. But uh, right now we're looking for just like, maybe just like a tamale or something like that. Let's see. I see pupusas. This is what we're looking for. Muchas gracias. Pupusa! Okay, so this is called a pupusa, and basically what it is is it's two tortillas put on top of each other with some cheese in the middle. Normally it's with cheese, but actually she asked if I wanted it with chicharron, which is basically like, I think it's called like pig rinds, which is like, I guess, pig skin. I don't know. It's usually pretty good, but uh, yeah, let's let's see how this... Actually, they put some stuff on top of it. Ooh, yeah, it looks really good. Some put onion. Some, like, onion. Yeah. Is that pineapple on it? I think so. Wow. 
I don't know if a fork's gonna help me. No. I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> I can do this. It's really good. Yeah? Did you get any toppings on it? I did, yeah. Got some spicy. Oh, it's so good. Yum. This is awesome. Definitely get some street meat. I know people say to shy away from it, but as long as you see them cooking it in front of you, it's usually not terrible. And it, usually if it's fried or like deep fried. Yeah, that's right. Just uh, But also eat at your own risk, because definitely. You don't want to make that We've definitely had some bad times. <laughs> so But it's always worth it. Look how good this food looks. Mm -hmm. Yum. So we made it to our spot for lunch, it's called La Chimenea. We've actually walked by this place quite a few times, but it has a bunch of food that our friend recommended to try as a Guatemalan lunch. So we're gonna, we just ordered our food and we thought this was a great time to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to pursue their creative journey. Whether we're at home or we're traveling, we think it's very important to find creative hobbies to keep our minds healthy. And Skillshare is the perfect opportunity for that. With a diverse set of topics from web design to videography to creative writing, Skillshare literally has something for everyone. Whether you're a beginner or a master, maybe a pro or just a dabbler, there's something for you. To help improve our skills for these food vlogs, we've been taking a class called Filmmaking for Fun, creating a short cooking film by Ben Roundtree. We've learned tips on how to use lighting and composition to draw attention to the plate, and we're really hoping to implement these new skills in our upcoming videos. But if this doesn't interest you, don't worry, because as members, you receive unlimited access to thousands of different classes with hands-on projects, community feedback, and the opportunity for live classes. The best part is, Skillshare is always adding new premium classes so you'll never run out of learning opportunities. If you want to try out Skillshare, there's a link in our description, and the first 1,000 people that click on that link will receive a one-month free trial for Skillshare. So click on that and start pursuing your creative passions today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to eating. So we've ordered the classic meal of Pepiang. We were suggested that we should get this because this is probably one of the oldest uh, recipes here in Guatemala. And basically what it is, is it's a fla very flavorful soup it's, and it has a chicken bone in it, as you can see. Um, so it's actually chicken based and lots of different spices and uh, I really like peppers and it has carrots in it and also some rice. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to try it really. <laughs> Hopefully it goes better than the process. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What spices are they? What does it taste like? I don't know how to like really describe it like comparatively, but it's 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 actually quite thick and um, savory, very savory. Oh, it's like a stew? Yeah, it's more like a stew. Oh yeah. It's really good. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> so I ordered a meal called churrasquito. Essentially it's just a really small little piece of steak, some salad, guacamole, salsa, and of course, as everything in Guatemala, it comes with tortillas. So this was, we're not entirely sure if this is like a super common Guatemalan meal, but it was on the special today and it just sounded really good. So I'm very excited to try it. Should I put this on a tortilla? Yeah, definitely. That's why you have them. I don't think I've ever eaten steak and tortilla before, but let's dip it in some salsa, maybe some guac. Mmm. Mm. Man, I think guac and a steak is like a yeah. deadly combo there. <laughs> I think they're onto something. I love it. Mm. 10 out of 10. Very good. For you. Honestly, I never really know what to do with the chicken bone in the soup here. Like, I feel like that's just always been like the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's just trying to deal with the chicken bone that's in like every soup somehow. <laughs> We're so used to like pureed soups. Yeah. Like baby food, pretty much. This very confusing. Mm -hmm. You're doing great though. Thanks. I feel good. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself.
for big lunch. It's time for dessert. We came to this little cafe right off the main square. It's called El Portal. And what do we get? Uh, we got a, a flan type of pastry. We're not totally sure what it is. We literally walked in and we saw all these pastries in the window and we asked the girl, what is the most Guatemalan thing in this place? And she said, this is literally called the Antigueño. So it's like, it, we're in Antigua, so it's the Antiguan. So we had to try it. Yeah. What is flan though? I'm, really, I've what never is flan? Really known. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything. Comment below if you know what flan is made of. How is it? Wow. <laughs> it's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I want to try some. Like, just dissolves in your mouth. It's so good. I'm never really like a big fan of like liquidy cake or pastries. But yeah, but this we'll is like a it. better one. It's in... mm. 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 Yeah. It's kind of like, I don't know, a mix of like ice cream and cake. Yeah. You know? It's really good. I like the almonds on top. That's a yeah. nice touch. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Good choice. Good choice. So to be honest, this isn't a comprehensive list of Guatemalan foods. Of course, we can't eat literally everything in a day. It's just not possible. I would love to we be can. able to show you. <laughs> I'd love to be able to show you like as much as we can about Guatemalan food, but we like to just show you like one full day of eating. Which I think it's a good way yeah. of doing it. Some some different things to try, but maybe comment yeah. below what your favorite Guatemalan meal is because we'd love to hear it totally. and try them while we're here. Yeah. Well, after a relaxing afternoon and a quick nap, we are feeling a little snacky. So we're headed out to see what we can find now that it's dark out. <laughs> I'm gonna get this like, uh, I think it's carne de res. De pollo, verdura de pollo. Verdura de pollo, and este. Sí, eso. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Eso es el pollo de pollo. Tostada. Tostada, una tostada, of course. And yeah. Sí, por favor. Yeah, tostada. Okay, sorry, I was distracted talking to the owner, so tell me what you got. I think I missed all of it. I got a tostada with like, um, Verduras con pollo, which is basically like, um, like, what is it? Like peppers, yeah. greens, greens with like, Cabbage, with, yeah. with chicken. Cabbage. So it's really yummy. Yeah, basically. Well, I mean, you haven't tried it yet, but we had one the other day and it was yummy. And? That's good. Oh. So, this is one thing about cheese in Central and South America. So you can see that they kind of sprinkle this cheese on there. And it's and it's it's good, but it's definitely an acquired taste. To it takes me, some getting used to. it takes some getting used to. To me, it tastes a lot like literally and straight from the cow, which is a good thing, but it also just tastes like like a dairy farm. But it also kind of is like it it like makes you feel like it should be Parmesan because it's always like sprinkled right. on top. Yeah. So I'm always expecting like Parmesan That's flavor right. and it's yeah. really not. But it is good once you get used to it. Also, sorry about the noise. Uh, there's a generator behind us, but like you know, 10 generators. welcome to Guatemala. <laughs> this is literally just the ambient noise of Guatemala. I feel like we don't even notice anymore, but <laughs> it's lighting up all these food, like food stands. Yeah. So we can't really complain, but <laughs> that's why it's so noisy. Look at that guy. More. More. Very noisy. Mm. Oh, good. Lick the plate. Nom, 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 nom. Alright, I'm getting one corn cob and it comes with lime and salt on it. It's supposed to be really good. So what is it called? Uh, elote. Elote. I think. I can really hear that well. I'll look it up after. <laughs> Gracias. Hey. Y cuánto 
Me so good. I haven't had corn on the cob in forever. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. That does not taste like any corn on the cob I've ever had. I don't even know how to describe it. It almost tastes like it's like like oven baked or something. I don't know. It's delicious. No, gracias. That's so good. So what is it? Just like like just corn with lime and salt? Yeah. And you just rub the lime and salt on it. Oh, well, that's awesome. It's, I think the lime makes it. I think they're onto something. I'm taking this back home with us. It tastes like popcorn. Like I never eat, whenever I eat corn, I always, I'm like, this is weird that popcorn comes from the same thing, you know? But this actually like tastes like popcorn. It's so yummy. Mmm. This is delicious. You're not getting any. No, I get some. Mm -mm. Give me a bite. Do I look like a crazy person when eating this? Give me a bite. <laughs> okay, careful. Just like careful. palm it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna lose all the precious salt. Don't you dare drop it. <laughs> it's definitely a lot more dry yeah, than so the corn we have oven, at home. Oven baked. Yeah. But the taste is better. Not my favorite. What? Hey, you have acne. I, I like it. I mean, salt and lime, who's not, what's not to like, but... I don't know what's wrong with you. This is so good. I'm gonna regret this so much, though. I already have so much corn in my teeth. Yeah, it's like... I'm gonna have to floss every little part of my teeth. It's literally in, like, every crevice of my teeth. I just took, like, one bite. <laughs> That's the worst part about corn on the cob, for sure. Well, I'm gonna have corn in my teeth till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such a fun day. We are very full again. Every time we do one of these food vlogs, it's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe how much we end up eating for the so day. So much good food. But uh, yeah, it makes us super excited for the rest of our time here in Guatemala. We get to try a lot of different types of foods. Yeah, but that's it for us tonight. So yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Okay. <laughs> Look how many, there's so many in there. Okay, the get, literally all of her teeth are covered in something. Yeah, you can't really tell though, can no, you? No, this one you can tell for sure. It's like a, a black, yeah, there you got it. And then there's one flake right on the top there. Yeah, yeah, okay. The other ones you can't tell, the other ones are just red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. That's what happens in a day full of oh, eating. That's good.